Today I'm going to be taking the calipers off and uh, lubricating all the uh, slide points on it. I had a noise that's been uh, bothering me lately. It sounds kind of like metal running on metal. Um, we've got a new drive shaft. We know it's not that. And um, we're thinking it's somewhere in the brake system. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Missing one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn it, it's moving. Damn, I left this grease out here. Once we got the wheel off, we found that the slide pins on the caliper were really corroded. So we decided not to take the calipers off, and rather let's focus on the slide pins. Uh, I don't have a spare set right now, so we're going to go ahead and take these off, clean them up, grease them, and see if that helps solve the problem. What we found was that getting these out was a bit more of a challenge than we expected. They're so corroded. Um, I don't know that cleaning them up is going to fix them. All right, so what I'm going to do is, rather than take this whole assembly off, I'm going to take these slide pins out. These are the slide pins right here, and they're really dirty. There's a, looks like an expansion spring of some kind to pull the pads away. At least I guess, that, I'm thinking that's what it is. But let me uh, pull these out. Um, that's a little retainer clip. I don't know if you can see that. Ah! That's the retainer clip. So I pull that out and um, should be able to pull the slide pin out. I might have to use a punch to get it started. All right, let's get this wire wheel going. This is actually a brass one. I might have to go to a steel. I mean, these things really look like they uh, they came out of an excavation of a colonial uh, village or something. I've, <laughs> I'm going to put them back in because I have to. I don't have a direct replacement, but uh, I seriously think I'm going to order some replacements. I've got some Permatex uh, synthetic disc brake uh, caliper lube, so I'm going to use that for the slide pins. If I'm lucky, it'll have a brush. It does. Nice gloppy mess. Now, normally if I was doing a brake job, I actually would put some of this behind the pads uh, where they contact the caliper just to keep the squealing down to a minimum. But I'm going to do is uh, basically just put a light coating of this on the, uh, on the pin itself. 
that I'll wipe off the excess in a minute. Go ahead and get this pin started. Once I get it in there, I'll wipe off some of that excess. lost a retainer, retainer pin in the uh, glob of grease. I'll just get a close up show you the uh, the pin how it went in should be sticking out that way and um, they can be pulled out but there's uh they're retaining clips basically so when once you get them pushed in they'll hold themselves in um, obviously so because everything gets rusted together with uh, this great quality Toyota steel that they use All right, so we got the slide pins cleaned up and uh, greased, put back in there. I am going to order new ones. Those things look like they came out of a colonial settlement ar architectural excavation. They were just terrible the way they were pitted. So I'm going to order new ones, but we're going to take this for a test drive. Let's see how it does. All right, so we've got the uh, guide pins um, cleaned up and lubricated. I've gone ahead and ordered some new ones because those are just a mess. And uh, actually, they come in little kits with the guide pin. Uh, the clip. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's interesting. They uh, actually call them anti-rattle uh, uh, springs. So we'll see how that goes. Taking it for a test drive now. fix the problem we still got a little bit of that rattle but I think that is what's causing the problem those guides are so pitted and corroded I don't think they're allowing the uh, pads to uh, set back or allowing the springs to push them back so I've got the whole kit on order it comes with new springs uh, new slide pins and uh, clips so once I get the kit we'll uh, we'll put them on and see if that rattle goes away well I've got the slide pins they came in here they go 12 bucks 
and I believe this is going to solve the problem. So we're going to go ahead and repeat the process, put these pins in, um, get a nice coat of grease, and um, we'll see how that does. Hopefully that will fix it. Here's a good shot of the passenger side pins. You can see these things, uh, they're just so corroded. There's no way the brake pads can move on those things. Um, get out of the way, get some light on there. There's the bottom one. Um, I just can't see that the uh, anti-rattle spring is going to have any chance of moving uh, these things around. So let me get these off and replace them. We'll do both sides and uh, then we'll check to see if we still have the rattling noise. Yep, here's the new slide pins. The vast difference. Yeah, camera shadow here. But um, you can see the new spring, new clips. Yeah, for 12 bucks, that was a good investment. We'll see if it solves the problem. We've got the brake pins in, the new springs, everything's greased up, so we're going to go for a test drive. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. So far, so good. I don't hear the rattling. Hopefully that solved the problem. Well, it seems like that solved the problem. I think uh, getting these new pins in there and springs have uh, eliminated the rattling noise that we had. So, um, I'm going to call this solved. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, hit like, share, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.